Well, it's not every day that I can uh, walk out of a prison and I just see a baby sitting here. Hmm. Welcome to Estonia. I was gonna say you won't believe it but actually I don't really believe it but after a few cold rainy wet wintry days here the Sun is finally out <laughs> the Sun is finally out here the Sun is finally out here in Tallinn Estonia finally And actually to make things and to make things even better today I have a plan yes I know I don't usually have a plan never really have a plan don't like having one to a certain extent but today I have a plan and it can be it could be has the potential to be pretty cool today Oh, and just as a little disclaimer while I'm thinking about it before I forget because I want to talk about it in every vlog and I don't think about it until I'm sitting down to edit. Um, I do read a lot of you guys' comments and some people were saying something about the, um, uh, the, the stabilization. For example, like when I'm walking through a place like this, when I'm walking through a place like this, if I hold it stable. I know guys, I actually try to think about it, but when I'm here and I'm walking around, I mean, as much as I like to film, I'm really in the moment, you know, and the camera's just trying to capture that like the best that I can. So many times I'm walking around and so much of the footage you guys see is not even the worst of it. I can't even put it in the vlog, but the thing is I'm honestly not even thinking about it. I'm like, I want to try to experience this the best I can. And a lot of times, and a lot of times when I'm walking, I just totally forget and I'm just walking like, wow. Like, it's not like I'm looking at what I'm filming at either if you guys could actually be here and see me I'm usually just walking and I have the camera here so I'm filming something that can go into the vlog so the 10% that you see in the vlog there's 90 other percent that is there that I'm actually taking in so I'm filming this statue right here but I'm looking all over here and it's kind of just me holding the camera like this and just kind of looking around as I'm going places so that's why it is a little bit stable but I, I know people always say that in the comments and tell me about it and I just had to address why that is you know I'm sure one day when I've been to a place a lot of times and I don't want to look around and, and see it so much then I will maybe focus more on the stabilization or maybe just get a stabilizer one day but now I just so in the moment sometimes I forget but I do read you your comment about that Oh, and also before the day can start, got to uh, definitely probably need a coffee or smoothie uh, and do some things and see my friends from that I met yesterday. Like at least I think one or two of them might be in this coffee shop. So it's kind of perfect because I can see them and have a much needed. Oatmeal, Estonia has oatmeal. Oatmeal is impossible to find in Europe. Normally you can't find it in a shop. Got things handled, said goodbye to my friends who were there at the shop. A little bit sad to leave there because I don't know if I'm gonna have time to come back there today but you guys remember how I said I have a plan well I, that was like four hours ago but in the vlog probably only like 30 seconds ago I have a cool plan uh, but first need to I'll, I'll, I'll explain on the way okay so just back in the hotel hot, blah, 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 blah. just back in the hostel dropping stuff off uh, so I can be light but basically there's this youtuber called bald and bankrupt yeah, bald and bankrupt. Someone told me about him, like four or five people told me about him. Met someone who met him and told me about him and like suggested how we are the same and some things that I could do different that I could incorporate in my, it, it was, it was just like, I heard about it a lot. I checked out his, his channel, really awesome guy, bro. If you're watching this, man, 
yo man keep up the great work but he does something where he interacts with people he's more a lot of his videos he has a lot of um how to say he has a lot of um kind of not even crazy edits just live things so people can see and i was like why don't i incorporate that on certain days when i don't feel like going around with my big camera take this little camera right here go around and today i'm doing something special i told you had a plan um and that plan is going to a prison today yes but before i go to the crazy prison maybe take a walk through old town i think it's gonna be really beautiful now that the sun is out it's been gray the last couple days so yeah that's kind of the news i wanted to share um but uh bald and bankrupt this guy he's he's really light when he's traveling he i mean he leaves his stuff in his hostel or hotel wherever he stays at and he's kind of light and just that's what i think i'm gonna do today i'm gonna take that from him and yeah, yeah you understand uh okay uh, okay so between me you guys uh i got brainstorming a whole bunch of ideas thought of all these cool things that i can kind of add and improvise in what i do and i just brain kind of fried, fell asleep for like 45 minutes, and this is 45 minutes later, making my way to, through Old Town, I think through Old Town, yes, to get to the prison. town heading towards the port which ultimately is the prison uh, making my way but to get to the prison it's actually on the port part of the port and you can see I don't know what's going on here but the whole port walking here is like yeah let's just say this is not the the most glamorous side of uh, of Tallinn and this is actually a place that I discovered with uh, my Russian friends the people who I met the other day we kind of just were walking around and found this place and here we go to the prison and normally I do all of my I do all of my cinematics and everything but I think just doing it just raw and uncut is uh, maybe the best way to do it there we go And like solid, no joke, like this is left over from a while ago. I was here the other day and the lady just explained to us, I don't know, they said that I think uh, the last prisoners were like not released, but moved from here like in 2004, I believe. So not even 15 years ago, there was people here still. That's crazy. And that's like, this is like the exit, so. This was the dog houses. Can you guys read that? Push pause on the video and read that. You're gonna be freaked out. This is crazy. I think this is actually where they were like, when they could come outside and get air, this might've been the place where they were allowed to come out for, for like recreation, but what the? things to comparing is a great way we often as humans I guess use it as like a way to make ourselves feel inferior to other people and other things in life and you people I think a lot of times if we use it to see how great we actually do have it it's like uh yeah we have nothing to complain about and you're being in here now of course I'm not like, of course, I don't have to stay here, but sometimes being in the situation and feeling exactly what it felt like, 
you know, it's like pretty, yeah. of all the people, or most of them. And remember, a lot of these people that were here, they were innocent. Like, it's not like these were people who murdered, these weren't all murderers and killers and everything. A lot of these people were just working and they just didn't agree with what was happening in their country. And because they didn't agree, they were just sentenced to come here. I feel like I've had my, I don't know, fair share. I feel like I've had my, uh, my taste of the bad side of Estonia. <sighs> wow. Well, I mean, really interesting place. Come at your own risk. Come at your own risk. Not sure if I want to do that tour again. Oh man, yeah, gotta get out of here. Not feeling too, not feeling too great. But definitely a place that is, it, it needs to be seen. It needs to be not forgotten, you know, it needs to be not be forgotten. That's how I look at the places like that. But at the same time, sometimes you get like an energy drain, you know? Uh, yeah, <laughs> yeah, wow, what a place. But uh. Yeah, out of here and spin to something a little more happy. Like, literally like four or five hours later, met up with some of the people from yesterday. I met up with one of them. We were all supposed to meet, but kind of we didn't hear from two of them. So we went around and kind of, they kind of showed me a whole nother side of Tallinn. And I feel like maybe I'll try to put in some kind of clip of what exactly happened and then bring you guys back here. Okay, met up with one of my friends. We're taking the tram and... Uh, Kind of like Paris, nobody talks. Just gotta look sad. That's how they ride the tram. Join me to talk, that's my friend. <laughs> no idea where we're going. Where are we going? You can do it. I can what? You can see. Okay, alright. Okay, this vlog doesn't end, it's because she took me and killed me. Maybe, what's her name? What's her name will show up? Hell C. What's her name? My name. No! Uh, from the park. Hell C. What? Hell C. The girl at the cafe. Hellies. Oh, Hellies. Hellies, yes. Hellies. 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 Like Hellies food. Hellies. Hellies. Okay, maybe Hellies will show up and save me. If not, uh, it's gonna be uh, interesting. So just so you guys know for the vlog, the prison I was in was all the way over there. And then I walked 20 minutes in the rain to meet them. And then we walked all the way back to where I walked all the way from. This is the, the story. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thanks.
Soviet stadium actually, like before. And now it's just closed off to the public. I forgot to tell you guys that. I was supposed to tell you that at the top, but. Our way to, what's the name of the place? The, where we're going? Point Diam. Point Diam. Point Diam. Yeah, it's kind of like a hipster place where a lot of people are hanging out. Not a lot of tourists, which is kind of what I love. And as we're walking there, it's like all these buildings Apparently they just like never fixed them up or anything and just left them after the Soviets left. This building's here. And even on the other side of the street. Wow. Another side of the city when you're outside of Old Town. But it's still the center, yeah? Still the center. Hmm. You guys see that? Just carrying a body wrapped up in plastic. That's how you Est Estonians do it, huh? <laughs> Thank you so much for everything. Showing me all the cool stuff, I really appreciate it. And that brings me back here, where I'm about to exit here, get back to the hotel so I can, or the hostel so I can relax for a little bit. Um, but I ended the vlog in a better place, not here. So we'll go where I ended the vlog. Uh, we'll spend, <laughs> we're not coming back here again. We'll spend where I ended the vlog. But this is a pretty cool meal right here, which is a decent place to end the vlog. Saying thank you so much for watching. I uh, appreciate all of you guys' support. I know it sounds really classic and I'm saying that all the time, but I really do appreciate your support. Uh, even if you're new around here, or if it's your first video or your 504th or 5th video, you know, just want to thank you guys so much for taking the time and giving me your attention. Wish you guys a beautiful day, morning, afternoon, wherever you are. And I'll talk to you guys all later. And everyone always remember to work hard, be brave, and don't forget.